What's up, everybody? It's Big Roth TV coming back with another quick video. This time, I'm not going to be talking about sneakers. I just wanted to get on the topic of this team right here. I'm a proud Carolina Panthers fan. I have been for the existence of the team. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. I have started to see the pictures like they do every year. They've been doing it the last few years when there was a uh, the Seattle Seahawks in the, in the playoffs and then the Super Bowls. They're like, oh, if you can't name such and such uh, Seattle Super or Super Sonics, Seahawks uh, quarterbacks or players or you're not a real fan, you're a bandwagon fan. Come on, man. Now they're doing it with the Panthers, right? The Carolina Panthers, your NFC champions, the team that's going to be representing the NFC in the Super Bowl against the Broncos. I have been a fan of the Panthers since they were announced. I was eight years old back in 1993 when they were announced as a team going to Charlotte. Um, you know, and then they came into the league in 95. The first jersey of any kind that I ever had in my life was a Kerry Collins jersey. I got that, I think it was 97. Christmas of 97, I got a Kerry Collins jersey. I hate it because I wore the hell out of that jersey, right? But he wound up getting released and going to the same. That always happens when I get jerseys. Like, whenever I get a jersey, the player winds up getting released from the team. So that's why I stopped doing that for a while. And I got this one. You know, this is a custom one. This has my name on it. It's 85. Um, reason it's 85, that's the year I was born. So um, usually I just get a custom jersey and have my name on it. And so and I still represent the team. You know what I mean? Like I have a Charlotte Hornets jersey. That's my favorite NBA team. Um, I have a Charlotte Hornets jersey. has my name on it. Same deal. Um, but when I was... Um, I want to say eight or nine years old, we were stationed in, in Kentucky. That's where I grew up. We were stationed in Kentucky, and my dad's friend or co-worker, he drew this and painted it for me. Um, I've had this for over 20 years now. And, uh, I, you know, right around the time the team was announced, I don't even know if they had even played the game yet. Uh my dad's friend drew this and painted it and just, you know, handed it to me as a little kid. I've had this since 94, either late 93 or early 94, I've had this. So, his name was Newell. Never forget that. I've held this for years. Every, all the years we moved around, my dad was in the Army. All the years we moved around, I've kept this. I still got it. I'm grown now. I still got it. Um, so yeah, I'm not a fair weather fan. I can name some quarterbacks if you want. Kerry Collins was our first one. Dom Capers was our first coach. We used to have Tim Bianca Batuka as a running back. We had Steve Berline after Kerry Collins left. Then we wound up having Rodney Pete, who was there before Jake DeLome came. Then after the Jake years, we had Matt Moore and the Jimmy Clausens. And I don't like to talk about those years, but... We also, if you're a true Panthers fan, then you know you went 1 in 15 two different times. So, you know, it's just, or was it 2 and 14 in the last one? I know we went 1 in 15. That was right before John Fox came. And, um, man, that was a rough one. But it led to us getting better. And we got Jake and Steve Smith and Julius Peppers and all those guys. And we went to the Super Bowl, in which we were a dumb kickoff away from winning Super Bowl 38 and that's why this year I was hoping so much that the Patriots made it on the other side so that it could be a Super Bowl 38 rematch and it'd be the Carolina Panthers versus the New England Patriots in a Super Bowl 38 rematch and we could win it that's what I was hoping for didn't happen that way um speaking of the jerseys I was talking about Super Bowl 38 is the Steve Smith jersey. This is the only jersey. Let me not say the only one. I have one right here. I'll show in a second. I have this Smitty jersey. I bought this after he left. Um, they wound up discounting his jerseys down. And this is like the authentic on-field jersey. And 
They marked it down to like $35. I was like, I'll buy somebody else's jersey for that price. So I did. Steve Smith jersey. But this is only one of two jerseys that I have. And I'll probably hang that one up later. But let me show you this one. This is the jersey of Jake DeLome. Um, this was my, until recently, this was my favorite quarterback in ever because he led my team to the Super Bowl. You can see right there, I don't lie, that's my favorite NBA team right there. Charlotte Hornets on the wall. Got a little bit hidden there. But Jake DeLone, I even have a song. If you go look through my, my um, videos here on my YouTube channel, you'll see I have a song that's called Jake DeLone, Me Rapping. It's called Jake DeLone, and it's uh, it's dedicated basically to I was going through some things, and I kind of compared it to what he went through his final year or two there in Carolina. But um, anyway, I just wanted to get on that you know bandwagon stuff, or were you a Panthers fan all these years? Yes, I was. I've been a Panthers fan for the long haul, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to talk about here in this video. Y'all take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and all that, and I'll holler at y'all. Go Panthers.